Hey guys, Fractal5 here with episode number 4 of this Newcastle career mode on FIFA 17. We'll be kicking things off in the championship with a game away at QPR. Now, just 7 minutes into the game, Diame plays a ball through to Ayose Paris. He hits the post and unfortunately, Diame misses, kind of misses the open goal. It's actually saved by the opposition keeper and it goes up for a corner. And as we see, because I didn't show anything, nothing happened on the corner. Now, John Joe Shelby... Fucking turning on the Jets down the wing, whips and across. Ayoso Perez there, kind of nicks Unas's uh, shot. Don't know if Unas would have scored though, he's quite small. But now Unas, as we talk about him, he's on the wing, he's going to whip and across this time to Matt Ritchie. Whose header is just wide of the post. Now, still only 25 minutes into the game, Henry plays the ball into Cherry. Cherry? Sherry? I don't know. But his shot is way wide of the post, no threat to sales in goal. Now Diame, he's running down the wing. He's going to look to stop. Cuts inside. Goes for the finesse shot. Great save from the QPR goalkeeper there. Now, just 10 minutes after that uh, last QPR chance, they are down the wing here with Wuzlek. Wuzlek's got past about three of our four defenders there. Tries to cut it inside, and he does keep it, gets his hand to it. And uh, I think that's Henry again, who misses, and it's wide of the post. Now... Three minutes before half time, Ayoso Perez is clean through on goal. He shoots and he scores. That is one nil to Newcastle. A little replay of the goal there. He was he was through. There's no way he was going to miss that. Now into the second half, we break across to the back post. I think that was Unas again there. Couldn't get to the header, but it does go up for a corner. John Shelby's going to whip this one into the back, and Bemba gets his head to it. Nice little save from their keeper. He was probably their best player of the match so far, even if it's one nil. But now Perez, nice little one-two between him and Diame. Diame has got the pace over that defender there. He slides in, kind of slides, to get, has to get the ball underneath the keeper. And that is 2-0 to us, 69 minutes into the game. Now, just five minutes later, Yedlin there with the ball. He gets fouled by the opposition defender. And it's going to be a free kick to us that Iozo Perez is going to whip in. Whips it into the nearest player. Gale gets his head on it. It is 3-0 to us. And uh, that's how the game is going to end. 3-0 to Newcastle away at Loftus Road. Uh, and the player of the match for this one was Diame with a 9.5 rating. Obviously got a goal and an assist. And uh, yeah, he did pretty good that game. Now moving into a game back at home at St James's Park. And we are taking on Wolves. Now Wolves, they're an alright team. Um, as you can see here. One of their players is basically straight through on goal, and that was just one of the players. That was a great opportunity for them to go 1 0 up. But now Yedlin here in the middle for some reason, don't really know why, but plays it to Mark Mitrovic, who plays it back to Hughes, he plays through Perez. His shot is saved by the keeper. Still going here, unfortunately not. Wolves do clear it away. Yedlin now win tries to win a header there. Clark just gets outpaced, gets kind of mugged off by Olajon there. He's going to whip in across. And luckily for us, Lazar can clear it, but straight to one of their players. And luckily, again for us, it is over the crossbar. Thrown there by Richie to Shelby. Plays it back down to Richie down the wing. He whips on a cross. Mitrovic gets his head to it. And there's a brilliant save from their keeper. And again, Ayoso Perez can't tuck away the rebound. Now, 65th minute, minute in. Matt Richie gets the ball and he goes on a nice little dribble. Tries to, can't really find the end product to that though. And it's still nil-nil. Just two minutes later now, we give the ball away in the middle of the park. Edwards plays it through to Texera. He shoots and is well saved by the keeper. Now, with 15 minutes left in the match, Will Hughes has played the ball. He plays into Mitrovic. Mitrovic turns the defender, tries to get a shot off Kant, falls to Dwight Grail, and he cannot get a big enough touch on it to it for it to go in the goal. Five minutes left in the game. Dico plays it to Silvio. He can't win anything. We head it straight back to Dico. Dico's got the pace over all of our defenders, shoots, and again, probably one of the best players in the match so far is Sales. Um, Mitrovic did get the highest rating, though, on our team with a 7.4 rating. Didn't get any goals, didn't get like any assists, because it did end 0-0. Now, EFL Cup, we're playing Grimsby Town, and uh, I've put out a very weak side. And, I mean, even with a weak side, I don't expect us to go 1-0 down one minute into the game. We do equalise and then they score again, putting them 2-1 up. Then we equalise again and then in extra time they score in the 94th minute and Grimsby Town eliminate us. That's who obviously did get the goal. 
and I'm pretty sure you're going to assist. I forgot to record this bit, but he did get a 7.3 rating for the goal. He didn't get an assist, actually, I remember now. And now, probably the toughest game of the season so far, we are taking on Aston Villa. Obviously, they did come down with us, and as you can see, that is a fellow team unbeaten in the, Premier, in the Championship, sorry, is Norwich. Got the exact same record, obviously, they've got a five, plus five goal difference on us, though. Now, 14 minutes into the game, Diame is going to shoot, and it's saved by pretty sure they got Bun in goal. And again, they can he didn't even jump to get that, and Dwight Gale's header, unfortunately, he can get to it either, and they head out for a corner. He can get to this one, though, he punches it out from the uh, resulting corner. But now, half an hour in, Perez gets the ball. He gets fouled on the edge of the box, lucky for that not to be a penalty. John Joe Shelby's going to take this one. There's a clear little gap there, and he's going to try and get it as much power on it as he can. Unfortunately, Bun does save that and goes out for a corner again. Nothing happens from the corner. But now, 42 minutes in, the ball is played through to Matt Ritchie. He gets past two defenders in one there, tucks it around Mark Bun there, putting us 1 0 up. I'm pretty sure this is his first goal in the championship, first goal for Newcastle. Gonna make a few substitutions here, um, just to freshen up some players for the next game, really. We've got Norwich next, so gonna want him to be fresh. We're gonna Rion Hughes, Aarons, and Dwight Gale. And in the 78th minute, John Joe Shelby plays it through to Gale. Gale's gonna play it out. He shoots, hits the post. Matt Ritchie can't get a touch to it, and can't get his second in the game. John Joe Shelby's gonna whip in the resulting corner. Can Clark gets his head to it, hits the post, goes in. 80th minute. And it's 2 0 to us. Kieran Clark is this. Ooh. I want to say second goal. But the player of the match was Matt Richard with an 8.2. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and peace.